Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're going to talk about the games list that was announced by SNK for the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro. Let's get started. So a few days back, SNK had a news release on September 20th with some more information about the Arcade Stick Pro, including the games list. Now, before I get into any details here, I want to first and foremost apologize in advance if I call this the real Arcade Stick. Now, the reason I might get this name confused is because Hori has a real arcade stick pro. It's very, very close to the arcade stick pro from Neo Geo and both are fight sticks in a sense. So I may get the names mixed up once or twice here. Anyways, they dropped some more features. I talked about this in the last video, so I'm not going to re go over stuff that I already talked about. I will leave a link to that video in the description below. And I try to keep that video short as well. Uh, but there are some more images, some closer up images, so you can kind of see the side buttons just a little better. Now, the main thing I wanted to talk about today were the games. So it says here, play through 20 carefully selected Neo Geo fighting games. As a special bonus, the fighting stick comes with 20 Neo Geo fighting games pre-installed. So we'll take a look at those. There is no information yet regarding the buttons. So I'm hoping they're going to be Sanwa. There's some rumors there. I've actually heard rumors, no joke, that they're Sanwa buttons. I've heard rumors that they're Samitsu buttons. So at this point, we don't know. Now, if you have any inside information, just let us know in the comments below. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. This goes on, this is rumored to go on pre-sale on the 27th. Uh, so, you know, just a few days from now, anyway, we'll probably find out. But let's talk about these games. So there are 20 fighting games packed in this. I also posted this list on the community tab on the YouTube page just a few days back. But let's go over this. So first and foremost, we have six different King of Fighters games. And some people say, yes, this is just different iterations of the same game. I will tell you, they are very different. As a fighting game enthusiast, every version of a game, generally speaking, is considerably different than the game before it. For the casual player, you might not notice, but if you're a fighting game enthusiast, you will know the differences. You will at least probably notice some differences from game to game. Things like combos that you could do in a game previous that you can't now, or new combos, or different move priorities. And I could just really start listing out a whole bunch of things, but I'm not going to. I'll keep things light and, and entertaining here. Um, or try to be entertaining. I'm usually a pretty boring guy. Uh, so let's take a look at here. Fatal Fury Special, Fatal Fury 3. So there's there's six uh, King of Fighters games, two Fatal Fury games, which is a bit of a letdown because the Fatal Fury uh, series, in my opinion, is very good. Um, Mark of the Wolves, amazing game. Three Samurai, four Samurai Showdowns, apologies, four Samurai Showdown games. The Art of Fighting, World Hero, actually three World Heroes games. Ninja Masters, The Last Blade 2, and Kazuna Encounter. So based on this information, again, I want to say, yes, you could say, hey, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine games in general, just different iterations of those. But I would say that's not necessarily true. Now, if you're not a fan of the King of Fighters series, you're completely out of luck because six of these 20 games are King of Fighters games, uh, but they are very different from each other, and I still want to stress that. Um, but if we do take a look, there is a bit of a letdown here. There's some surprise and some letdown. So I am surprised that they are putting out all these iterations and not just picking one or two of them. That's good, in my opinion, a lot of variety. I'm a little let down that there aren't more Fatal Fury games. A lot of people enjoy some of the earlier Fatal Fury games. Uh, Fatal Fury 2, for example. I'm really glad to see Mark of the Wolves. I think it's one of their best games. I really, really like it, and I think it's a hidden gem of a fighting game. Uh, Samurai Showdown, so they have four of them. They're missing Sam Show 1, uh, not the most popular one anyway. Apologies for saying that. Uh, and to be honest, though, they're missing the game. They could have easily put it in, my two cents. They could have easily put in a couple more Fatal Furies. Again, my two cents, because more than likely these are ROMs. Actually, they probably will be ROMs. And ROM files are really small in size. They're, you know, a couple megs, maybe 10 megabytes at most. 
So let's pretend that each game here is 10 megabytes. If there are 20 games, that's 200 megabytes of games. Probably easy to add just a few more games onto that list. But anyways, the rest of the games look good. Uh, in terms of things that aren't on here, for example, there is no metal slug. But then again, this, they said, is supposed to be specifically geared towards fighting games and Metal Slug is not a fighting game. You can argue that it kind of is because it involves fighting per se. You're fighting bad guys, <laughs> but at the same time, it's not really a fighting game. So um, I can see why those games aren't here. Uh, one game I'm very disappointed that's not in this list is Windjammers. And yes, it's not really a fighting game, but for fighting game tournaments, Windjammers actually shows up quite a bit. Uh, it was actually at EVO. They had a lot of entrants. I think they had close to 200 entrants for uh, Windjammers. So it, it's a very competitive kind of frisbee disc game. Uh, if you had two players, it's a blast to play. I would have loved for them to incorporate that. But again, I can't be upset because they've said this is specifically limited to fighting games. Now, in terms of this going on sale, it's rumored to be going on sale September 27th. So just in a few days. And we'll definitely know the price then. Uh, I can say right now, based on speculation, based on these games, the fact that it's a fight stick, let's just say they are using Sandwell parts. Let's, let's just say they are. Then let's take a look at a fight stick here. This is in Canada for 179. So let me flip over to amazon.com. So I shouldn't probably have the Canadian site up. Um, 140. So here's a 140 uh, USD. So let's pretend since this is a mini console as well, um, I could see this being listed for like 200 bucks. Uh, that, that would seem right up in that ballpark because it's not just a fight stick, it's also a game console as well. And at 200 bucks, that would put you right in line with, for example, the Razer Panthera, or actually this is considerably more the Quamba Dragon. So it, it all depends on, on what, but I think 200 bucks would seem like a pretty good price point. Um, I have a hunch it'll probably go for 250 to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not sure if it's over that, I'd be surprised. Uh, but at the same time, 200 to 250 bucks would seem very reasonable for this device. And if you're wondering where I got that number from, honestly, it just seems right in comparison with fight sticks that are out on the market. And if you take a look at the Capcom Home Arcade system right now, uh, it's up for pre-order at $199.99. Now this is obviously in pounds. Uh, if we convert that to USD, that's about 250. Now this Capcom arcade stick as well, uh, it's the console. It's two player arcade. So, you know, it's got full fledged controllers for two people. Uh, on top of that, it is using Sandwell parts. But we'll see in a few days how close I was. I'm gonna guess somewhere between 200 and 250. Final offer. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Uh, hopefully they are using Sandwell or Samitsu parts, but again, we'll find out. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think about the games list in the comments below. Thank you everyone, take care.